Hey everyone, so I am going to redo my packing methods video. I'm going to be comparing the packing methods of just folding your clothes, rolling your clothes, using compression space saver bags, and then using compression packing cubes. And I'm also going to compare, I mean, not only just how much room it saves in your suitcase, but also the amount of time that it takes. And I'm going to put all of these different methods side by side on the video so you can actually see for yourselves how long each one takes and how, how much room each one saves. And I'd like to ask if you uh, enjoy this video or want to check out my other videos. I do have a packing playlist um, that has different packing tips and travel tips. And uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications when I have new videos because I am planning on releasing more videos to come. So what I'm going to be doing is taking all of these clothes, which are just laid out, they are not folded in any way yet. Um, I'm going to be taking them individually and folding them or rolling them, putting them into the suitcase. Um, and then for the packing methods where I am using these compression space saver bags, these are the ones where you squeeze all of the air out of them. How they work is they have a valve at the end. Um, you can't really see it, it's just a one-way valve so air can go out of here but it cannot go back into the bag. And then I have these Gonex um, compression packing cubes, and that's what I'm going to be using for the compression bags. Now a little more about the suitcase. This is a small suitcase. It can be used as a personal item on like Frontier or Spirit Airlines. And it's just very basic, um, just one compartment. And that's what I'm going to be using because I'm just trying to get the basics for this video. Nothing special.
So here is a comparison on the side view of the luggage between the different methods. So you can see the first one is folding in the upper left and you can see that the clothes are peeking out over the top. However, I had no problem closing the lid to the luggage and zipping it shut. So that actually compressed the clothes enough to allow it, the bag to close without any problems. And the next image on the top right you can see is rolling and that one you can see that the clothes are peeking out just a little bit so it does actually save a little bit of space compared to folding clothes. Um, so it was really easy to close the lid and zip it shut, no problems. And the third image at the lower left is um, the space saver bags and you can see that it's peeking out over the top just a little bit but again I had no problem zipping that shut. Um, and the next one is the compression packing cubes. Now this one I could not shut that bag and you can see I didn't even uh, fit all of my clothes into the pre compression packing cubes. Um, however, even if I would have been able to, like if I had more of these compression cubes, it wouldn't have helped. Like the way I see it, compression packing cubes, they don't provide a lot of compression and it creates these you know little packages of clothes that if you don't have a bag where they will fit snugly when they are full uh, it's just not going to work so in this instance it just really didn't work for me and in the end the winners are for folding versus rolling in regards to space rolling does save you a little bit more space than folding Folding versus rolling in regards to time, folding saves you a little bit time compared to rolling. And the best compression goes to space saver bags. And the worst overall is the compression packing cubes. They took way longer and ultimately didn't provide a lot of compression, so all of my stuff didn't even fit into the bag. Now there's a lot of caveats to what I found here. For one, the luggage is going to compress the clothes when you close it. So rolling versus folding is very similar in regards to space. The space saver bags, I don't, I don't think they work very well when there are multiple space saver bags because they end up kind of lumpy. Um, and so when you stack two of them next to each other, you're going to have a lot of wasted space between them because like the they're just lumpy and it just creates empty space. So ultimately, I don't think it works well when there's multiple space saver bags. The best method that I have found is a combination of these methods. So what I will often do is use one space saver bag for bulky items, put that in the bottom of my suitcase, and then I will fold or roll jeans and shirts and other clothing items and then place them in the extra space around the space saver bag. Then I'll use packing cubes, either compression packing cubes or just regular packing cubes for smaller items like socks, undergarments, swimsuits, etc. Um, just so they don't get lost in the bag and are easy to find. So the folding clothes method, it took 4 minutes and 37 seconds. The advantages are that it's quick, you can cram clothes into every little nook and cranny of your luggage. Disadvantages, it does take slightly more room than rolling because clothes are not compressed. However, the luggage will compress the clothes anyway, so it's kind of a wash. Um, rolling clothes, it took a minute and 10 seconds or so longer than folding. Um, the advantage is that you can cram clothes into every little nook and cranny of the suitcase again. It takes up slightly less room than folding. Um, disadvantage is that it does take more time to roll the clothes. Space saver bags took just a little bit more time than rolling the clothes. That does offer a lot of compression. They are waterproof so it protects your clothes from dirt or water or anything else that could happen. Um, disadvantages is that you have to open multiple bags to get what you need. Um, it's not something that's really quick to just open up and grab what you need and close it again. And compression packing cubes, it took nine minutes for me to get my clothes in them. Ultimately, um, I couldn't even get all of my clothes into them and couldn't close the suitcase. So the advantages, compression packing cubes do offer organization, just like regular packing cubes. Um, they offer a little bit of compression, but not much. Would be good for like fluffy items like sweaters, hoodies, something like that, maybe a jacket. Um, just to, to offer that compression. Disadvantages is that uh, they take more room because you have these bulky packages that don't fit in your suitcase very well. You can't cram items around. 
um, if you're only using compression packing cubes. It takes a lot of time to put items in compression packing cubes and zip them shut. I kept getting the zippers stuck in the fabric and it was just super annoying. It felt like it took forever. I guess nine minutes isn't that long, but it, it felt like a long time when I was trying to mess with these packing cubes. Um, another disadvantage, you do have to open multiple bags to get what you need out of them, depending on how you're packing. Uh, and then, of course, it doesn't offer much compression overall. And thank you for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. And I would encourage you to check out my other packing videos um, for more tips. And please subscribe to my channel.